The way we do that is with the solar charge controller that we looked at earlier. I've set this up to charge this 12 volt battery, just for example, because we've already completely charged yours, but it'll work exactly the same way. All we have to do is connect this Anderson connector, just like on your go-kart. Okay, and it powers up, recognizes it's a 12 volt battery. Now your go-kart's 48 volt, but we can do 12 mm -hmm. or 48 with this charger. So now it's on, the light's on, and all we have to do now is connect it to the solar power. Now I have a 20 amp breaker here so that I can uh, control the flow of electricity from the solar panels. So you want to connect this up, snap those two together. Okay, and then those two. All right, now flip the switch. Okay, let's see if it comes up. Come back here a little. Look at that, see the light came on. Immediately it sees the solar panels are kicking in. Now we can click through here. We see that they're at 29 volts. And it's putting out 3.1 amps. Oh, the sun just went behind a cloud. Yeah. Now you watch, this will change when the sun comes out. But it'll still collect some of the sun's light that is coming, right? Yeah, it's, it's charging right now. It's four amps. All right, on the app, you can see it's putting out 3.3 .3 amps, mm -hmm. which is 44 watts. Wow. And that's just the two middle panels that we're running right now. So okay. it's cloudy. Even though we're in clouds, it's still charging. And in a minute, when it comes back out, we'll see what it jumps up to. Okay, here it comes. Watch as the sun comes around, it'll this will jump up. 60 watts. You feel the sun on your skin now? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, read it out. 76, 87, 113, 139, 163, 182, 194, 100, 203, 191. A little bit of cloud wisps back in. Yeah. See it dropping off. Isn't that cool? 66. It's just yeah. exact. Now you can, now when you're out in the sun and you feel the sun beating down, it's like, oh, that feels like a couple hundred watts. Oh, that feels like 50 watts. <laughs> yep. It's climbing. What's it up to now? 221. Right now we're putting out 18 amps, 300 watts. So right now this is charging the battery faster than that wall charger. Wow. Yeah, so, I mean, with this solar charge controller, we can use sunlight to charge faster than the plug you plug into the wall. That's pretty neat. Yeah. What is it now? Three, five, six. 356 56. watts. That is a lot of electricity. A lot of power. It's still going up. Yeah, the sun has come out from behind the clouds. and Okay, so this is a watt meter, and it measures how much power the sun's putting out. See, if I tilt it like this... It's over a thousand watts per meter squared, which is about what panels are measured at. Now, if I put it up here, I can measure it at the angle these panels are at. Here, jump up here. Okay, so 1,092 watts, and this is putting out 350 watts. So this is how much power we would get if the panels weren't hot, like right now they're real hot. So if they're in a lab and they were had a thousand watts of sun shining on them and they were three feet by three feet by three feet, so it's a whole meter. These are much smaller yeah. than that. They would be putting out a thousand watts. So this is just a way to measure how much sunlight intensity we have. So this is pretty typical for the middle of a day. And that output is pretty typical for hot solar panels. The hotter they get, the less power they can put out. So if we were to run some water on them and cool them down, we'd see the power jump up. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. You see that array out there? Yeah. That one there is powering the whole house. Wow. The dryer, the washer machine, the the well, the air conditioner. The hot water heater? Yep. Hot water heater too. Hmm. So, pretty cool, huh? You can just get a couple of panels like this. You could charge your go-kart during the day mm -hmm. and run it all day just with sunshine. That's neat. That is cool, huh?